Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and install custom clothing, aka EUP or pretty much anything else, into your guys' 5M server for free. And this is going to be super quick and easy to do. And you don't require a £200 a year or £15 a month subscription either. It's actually relatively simple and easy. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install EUP, but it's the exact same way for any other custom clothing. EUP is like a bunch of duck custom clothing. It's probably the easiest thing to install with a bunch of free things too. So click the first link down in the description below, which will bring you guys right here to the EUP download. There's quite a few different downloads. But I'm not really quite sure, but this is the one that I use right here. It's got everything that we need. So the first thing we're going to get is the menu, because that's the first link. So just click that download link to Mega. And then download it and wait for it to download. It should be relatively quick considering how small the file is. Just go back, back to the page and then download the server sided one here. This is going to be the actual files for the clothing. And this one's a little bit bigger, almost gigabyte. So it might take a little bit longer, but because we're using a HD number VPS, we've got pretty good network speeds. So give it a couple seconds to download and we can open that one on up as well. And once that's done, the first thing we're going to do is open up the EUP menu and then we'll also open up the actual EUP files as well. And we'll minimize to our desktop, keeping our browser open because this is one more thing that we need to download. Grab both of those downloads side by side. You're going to open up your 5M server folder. Mine's right here. I'm going to go into TX data, CFX default, or QWP core framework or ESX framework, depending on the framework you have installed. Go instead of here, go to resources, right click, new folder, and we're going to make a nice subcategory folder. So we'll do a bracket and we'll do clothing. And then a closing bracket. And then everything we put in here will be automatically started as long as we ensure this one folder. And obviously we're going to do everything clothing related in this one folder. So we're going to grab our EUP SUP folder and inside of this one, it's going to be EUP stream. Grab this and drag and drop it into that clothing folder. Give it a couple of seconds to copy across since it is quite a large file. And once that's done, you can close that on down. We no longer need it. And then come over to the EUP menu. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. Go inside of this EUP menu folder and grab this EUP UI folder. And we're simply going to drag and drop it into that clothing folder too. Now EUP requires something for it to actually work, for the menu to work. And to get that, hit the second link down in the description below, which will bring goes right here to native UI. It's going to be a GitHub page. All you need to do is click the top one right here for the source code, let it download and open the download on up. This video is sponsored by my new website, hdnetwork.one, your one-stop shop for all your 5M server needs. We offer 5M server hosting to make sure you guys can keep your 5M server running 24 seven and not put your IP address on display for the public to see. And we also offer pre-built 5M server packages where using the exclusive HD network application, you can make a fully modded 5M server with 120 plus mods in just one click. You can check all of that out down in the description below by using the link www.hdnetwork.one. This one, if you go inside of the native UI Lua folder, you're going to have the native UI folder itself. And this is going to be the one we actually drag and drop into our 5M server folder. Since we need this one to start first, we aren't going to put it in the same folder. We're going to want to put it in a slightly different one, one that is insured first. So it's either up to you if you want to make a separate subcategory folder, so you can put all your dependencies in that one, which is something I'd recommend doing, or just drag and drop it on its own in the resources folder and insure it separately. But for the sake of organization, we're going to do a nice subcategory folder. So brackets and then dependencies and then closing brackets. Go inside of the folder, drag and drop that native UI folder inside. Now what you're going to want to do is keep your resources folder open so we can see the name of our folders and open a, another file explorer tab. So open up your 5 and server folder, go to TX data, CFX default or whatever framework you have and find your server.cfg. I'm going to open that on up. I'm going to open it up with Visual Studio Code since it's easier to recode with it. But otherwise, just open it up with Notepad or any other Word document opener. From here, you're going to want to go down right to the last ensure line. I'm going to press enter two times. And then we're going to type ensure. I'm going to copy the name of that dependencies subcategory folder and paste it on in there. So now all of those files inside of that dependencies folder will start first. I'm going to type ensure. I'm going to simply copy the name of our clothing folder too. And now anything inside of that will start automatically after our dependencies. 
there's one more thing we need to do in order to get EUP for free because by default, unfortunately, 5M puts it behind a paywall. In order to be able to use it after that paywall, we're going to need to limit our slots. And now they've actually raised it. It used to be eight, but we can now limit our slots to 10. And we still get full access to 5M EUP clothes streaming or just clothes streaming on a whole. If you guys want more than 10 slots, unfortunately, you're going to need to buy the subscription to 5M. It's going to be about 15 bucks a month. It's about 200 something pound a year. Pretty like hefty price, but it's sort of worth it if you have a big community because you're going to need more people than 10. Also, there's no other way to buy it. Don't buy from dodgy people on Discord or anything like that. There's no other way to buy it. Buy it from 5M themselves and you will be fine and legit. So once you guys have done that and we set our slots to 10, file, save, close the server.cfg on down and we're good to start our server on up and we'll connect to it and we'll actually see and use our new custom clothing. Okay, so once you guys have loaded into your 5M server, all you need to do to access your custom clothing. In this example, we used EUP. But if you guys are using your own custom clothing, just access any admin menu which you have options to configure clothing and you will see it. But for this one, we're going to press T. I'm going to type slash EUP and then press enter. And you guys will see our custom EUP menu. Let me just hide the text chat here. And all you need to do is just go through the outfits and select the one you want. So there's tons and tons here, not just police. There's also some bonus ones like civilian ones. And you guys will see that they will all work. They won't be mismatched. They will all actually work because if they're mismatched, that means that you don't have access to clothes streaming because you probably haven't limited your slots to 10 or you don't have the subscription if you're using more than 10. Because we've done this, everything is working perfectly. We have got all the custom clothes that we need. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to comment down below what video you guys want to see next and be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for some more helpful 5M server videos to come. If you guys are looking to host your own 5M server, be sure to check out my website, hcnetwork.1 down in the description below where you guys can get affordable server hosting, just like the VPS I was using in this video and also set up a perfect 120 plus mods 5M server in literally just one click using our custom application auto installer. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.